Hey everyone and welcome to the video. Today we're going to be looking at how to install and um, pretty much fully operate uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time PC port, which is called, it's, well, been designed and um, produced by Ship of Harkini and well that, that's what the name is that it goes by. So this will be a full setup installation guide. Uh, I'll show you how to do mods and all that great stuff. First of all, you need to get yourself this file. Um, it is... Uh, I'm not going to tell you how to get it, but you know the drill. Um, you just need to find a file that is labelled exactly like that. Uh, it cannot be Master's Quest. It, it cannot be the normal ROM. It needs to be the that one there, the developer mode. Um, ROM. So if you can find that, then yeah. So firstly, or secondly, we need to go to the Discord, which I'm going to link on the screen now. Um, it'll be in the description below. Now, once you're here, once you've signed up, just navigate down to Downloads. And then scroll all the way down to the bottom. Only the what you're downloading will be here. There won't be any random posts, so you just got to go straight to the bottom, click download, and then pick your platform. So obviously I'm on Windows, so I'm going to get the Windows download, and we'll just wait for that to download. And I don't know why, but it's uh, messing around because I clicked on it too early. But um, yeah, there it is. Okay, so open the folder, downloads folder. Okay, so we're gonna extract this. Select a folder somewhere where you keep your games. I keep mine here. And um, we're gonna have to create a new folder. because the extraction doesn't come with its own, so you make your own folder for it to be the main, and it'll go in there. So there we go. Okay then, now we just navigate to the folder, Ocarina of Time, and we can open it, but we actually need to do one more thing. As you'll notice, we need the ROM, which is right here. and just place it in the folder, like so. Now we can open it, and it will give you a warning because, yep, Nintendo. Press yes here, and then, yep, it found the ROM, okay. Press yes again, and it'll scroll through installing everything like that. There might be a little bit of red here and there, but that's all right. Just let it finish and then press no. And look at that, we are now up and running. Now the first thing you need to do is uh, configure your controller. As you can see widescreen, so it's, it's really up and going. So we're just gonna configure our controller first and I'm not gonna bore you with, the, with that. Um, yeah. Okay, so now that we've configured our controller, which needs to be the first thing that you do, um, you are ready to play the PC port. It's as simple as that. But, what we want to do is we want to make our game look nice. That involves mods. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to exit the program manually. If you don't exit the program manually, your settings won't save. If you can, if you Alt F4, if you close the X button, I don't think it has an X button, but it, most programs do, it will not save your settings. So always remember that whenever you're changing any setting, um, close the program manually by using the quit button. So we go to this location here, which will be provided down in the description below. It's Ship Loader Mod Manager. Now we're gonna navigate down to the download button. 
Um, here are the files. There's a manual download and a shiploader button. I don't know why I use the shiploader button, but um, yeah, we'll we'll use that shiploader button in a second. But you actually need shiploader, so it's kind of stupid that you use shiploader shiploader to download shiploader but yeah, anyway it's there so we need to manually download it and it's as easy as just going here download doesn't take too long we'll just wait for it to download there we go open the folder okay now cut this whoops the shiploader file, cut it, and we're going to go to our Ocarina of Time folder and put it right here. Now this is how we're going to open the game from now on. As you can see we don't have any mods, so we're going to get some mods. Okay now we're going to insert this directory, uh, this website here. Now, I suggest you bookmark this page. This involves all mods. Every mod for this um, PC port. So, I bookmark this page. I'll, it'll be in the description down below. Um, now, this has every mod that is currently available for this PC port. As you can see, scrolling down, there's a lot. But... There's a section over here on the left hand side that has everything that we need. Now we want a complete overhaul. You have audio, you have models, you know, but we want a complete overhaul. And as you can see, there's only six. So we're after the 3DS overhaul. Doesn't matter what you want but that's what we're going with right now. As you can see, you scroll through it and you can read about it if you want. Now, now that we have Shiploader installed, we can use it to download the program. And it'll take a little bit of time because it is quite a large file. Okay, there we go. So, almost done. That didn't take, well, it did actually take quite a long time. It is a, uh, I don't know about you, but Australian internet isn't exactly the best. But still, and there we go. We got our mod, our 3DS overhaul. These are all the assets from the 3DS version of the game. All inserted into the um, PC port. So we load up the game again to test to see where we're at. And nothing particularly looks that different so far. So what's wrong? Like, I don't know. So what we have to do before anything will work is we go enhancements, graphics, mods, and use alternate assets. There we go. That's much better. You see the difference? It's night and day. Now, you'll see the text is also different. So you, you can mess around with a lot of things, like if you want different text, um, you can do that. If you don't want, if you want the old text, you know, you can turn that off. That's what that mod, that ship loader is really good for. You can pick and choose which aspects of the mod you actually want. Which is why I, I think it's an excellent uh, tool that's been developed. Um, I will give special credit to everyone involved in this project at the end of the video because I, I think they really deserve it. I mean, I'm, I'm just a lowly creator. So it, it won't mean much coming from me, but I, I think this is the bee's knees. I think this is awesome. Um, yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to take you through the second step of modding using that shiploader. We're going to install a different mod 
on top of the 3DS mod because I don't like the way Link looks. So we go to models, we pick out the Twilight Princess model, which is a really detailed model. We read the description to find out if there's anything we need to know about. This time we're going to do a manual download so that if you don't want to use Shiploader, I'll at least tell you how to use a manual download loader and install it. It's, it's really simple, but Shiploader just makes the conflict resolution a lot quicker. So this download isn't too big, it should already be done. Yeah, it's, it's already done. Look at it, yep. Yeah. Okay, so we extract the folder, and yet again there is no uh, main folder, so we have to create our own. Always keep note of stuff like that. So we go to the folder, Ocarina of Time, Mods, now click on Mods, Create New Folder. We're going to name it TP Model. Yes, TP model, Twilight Princess model. Okay. And that's it. That's all you have to do to install a mod. As long as it's in that mods folder, it'll be recognized. You don't even have to put it in a separate folder inside that folder. But there it is there. So we use Shiploader. Now we have to get rid of the conflicts. Th these models are going to conflict with the models we already have. There is no order of operations. So we turn off Link's model, and there's a couple more we have to turn off. Link's model again, and another 3DS enhancement for Link's model. So we turn that off. And now, those four models that we've incorporated will work in harmony with the 3D texture mod we've got. So we've got two mods working together, and you, you can mix and match and do sound effects. It, at, currently, I don't have any sound effect mods, so I don't need to do conflict resolution on that uh, in that situation. I can just download the sound mods, and everything will work peachy. And as you'll see here, the Twilight Princess mod actually looks pretty decent. Actually, it looks better than decent. It looks like a brand new game. Um, uh, see Link on the bed there, he doesn't look anything like that. <laughs> Even in the 3DS version, he looks nothing like that. That's that's high quality. We'll get a better view of it in a sec. Um, I should have put some gameplay footage in here, but yeah. I mean, that that's a great model. And the backgrounds from the 3DS, texturing and everything like that, it, it really does. They, they've done wonders here. And we'll just watch this opening video clip, um, well, not, not really a video clip, it's an in-game clip, but, um, yeah, the, the game's pretty much completely operational right now, but there are, there is a couple of things that I want to go over with you before we begin, uh, playing, um, I'm not going to do any playing in this video, but, uh, yeah, just so that you know. Okay. So, now that we're free to do what we want, we're going to go to Gameplay. And as you can see, we've got all these settings here. We've got difficulty options, so we can increase the difficulty or decrease it. And now we have time savers. Now, this is where you get your bang for buck. So we're going to turn a lot of these on. Increase the game speed, you know, climb speed block pushing speed, we don't want to climb too fast, so we'll set that, you know, fast but not fast. Um, and we're just going to turn on what we think is just quality of life improvement. If I think that if the game was made today, they would have changed it, I'll change it. So, like, different chests represent different items. And so forth. Um, uh, 
yeah, just, just, you know, like, the, all of this is all about time saving. Uh, Navi, you can turn Navi off. Like, Navi won't bother you. You can turn the sound effect off. Uh, you can turn it the when you're going through the tutorial for the first time. Which I, I consider Deku Tree to be a tutorial. Because Navi annoys you, like, probably five times. Uh, you can turn, and you can't skip it. You can turn that off. So, like, you can do anything with this mod. I don't, I don't mean anything. Um, Dampe all night. There's a weird thing with Dampe. Uh, he, um... He only shows up at 10pm. So, literally, you have to wait, like, a minute, two minutes before you enter... The graveyard, or, or enter, um... No, not Kakariko. Um, I can't remember the name of the town. <laughs> oh, I'm such a fan of this game, I can't remember the name of the town. But it, before you enter the graveyard, it has to be after 10pm. Or Dampai is not on duty. Um, it, so, here's... Um, items. So, these are just... You can change it to having all the masks. And here's the bunny hood. Now, you can get the bunny hood from Majora's Mask. You can make it either give you faster run or faster run and a longer jump. Now, I consider the longer jump to be cheating, which I'll go over here. Um, I don't really like the fact that you can cheat in this game, but it's there as an option if you want to have fun with it, you know. A lot of people do have fun with cheats. But adding the bunny hood and saying, oh, if you run faster, you can jump further, that makes sense to me. So I added it, you know, it's, it just works out. And there are all these other controls here. There's even a randomizer built into this game. So if you're wondering how a lot of the people out there do randomizers, this would be the number one reason now, or the number one method now. And um, yeah, I'm just changing my graphics here. 60 frames, got to do 60 frames. If you have the graphics card, ch open, uh, change it to OpenGL. Um, and enable VSync. That'll that'll stop a lot of tearing in the in the graphics. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the settings. And remember to quit, and then you should be right. So yeah, that was pretty much my guide f for how to install uh, Ship of Harkonnen. Uh, Harkonnen. Um, and how to install mods and any conflict resolution you needed to have when dealing with different mods uh, Shiploader is your friend So um, yeah um, If you like the video don't forget to like and subscribe uh, Really, you know tell me what you think is the best mod that you found for this game once you get it going Because I, I'd really like to know what else is out there. You know, I, I had a look at the list, but there's a lot there um, yeah, and as always, be good dear mother, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Thank you.